If you couldn't tell, I love book shopping, and I will argue to my grave that book shopping and book reading are two different hobbies. You guys have seen me go to every bookstore in Austin, aka the city I live in, and take two different book shopping road trips to small towns around Austin. But now it's time for my biggest book shopping road trip yet. We're going out of state, specifically to New Mexico. It's an 11 and a half hour drive to our first stop, which is Taos, New Mexico. Then we'll be going to Santa Fe, and lastly, Abilene, Texas on our way back. And coming along are my wonderful parents and their dog, Milo. All right, let's do some book shopping. We're in Taos, New Mexico. We made it after the longest car drive ever. Right now, I'm outside of Opposite Books. I hope I'm saying that right. It looks like a really cute bookstore in downtown Taos, and it looks really modern and stuff, so I feel like I'm gonna find Lots of good books here. Opposite Books was so cute inside. The first thing I did was head to the YA section where the Mirror Visitor series caught my attention. It's a dystopian fantasy series. The Cruel Prince has been on my TBR for so long. I'm just in the middle of so many series right now. I have no idea what these books are about, but I thought the covers looked so cool. Then I did some exploring and I found a cart of $1 books. I didn't end up finding any that I was interested in, but I always appreciate when bookstores have a really inexpensive book section. Mimi Lee Gets a Clue is a cozy mystery that looked so cute and I've never read any books by this author before. And the bookstore had so many different sections from fiction, nonfiction, mystery, Native American books, etc. Homicide and Halo Halo is another cozy mystery that looked so cute. I love the cover, but it's the second book in a series, so unfortunately I couldn't get it because I haven't read the first book, and it was even signed by the author, which I think is so cool. Then we headed upstairs, and they had the coolest, the coolest, coolest room upstairs. The whole ceiling was covered in black and white photographs and then it had a really incredible sitting area. I would love if I lived around here to buy a book and come sit here and start reading it. Here's my mom testing out the seating area. She agreed it'd be super cozy to sit here and read. Then they had a room of all like giant coffee table books and I love coffee table books. They're so fun to look at. It's impractical to own tons and tons of coffee table books. Realistically, I only need like one or two, but if I could buy a million and display them in a million places in my house, I would because look at these photographs. They're so cool. Then when I was leaving, I saw this sign that explains what the bookstore means. Opposite means in the works cited. I just got out of Opposite and ended up getting The Final Gambit, which is the third book in the Inheritance Game series. Well, actually, my mom bought this book. I got my mom hooked on the Inheritance Games. Every single time I see my mom, I bring her tons of books that I own to read. So she was like, this time, let me buy a book and I can give it to you to borrow. And I was like, ah, oh, mom, that is so nice. I'm absolutely obsessed with the Inheritance Games. Definitely one of my favorite series ever. And I have been waiting for this book to come out. But if you're not familiar with the Inheritance Game series, it's YA. And it's about this girl named Avery who inherits a ton of money from this random guy who she really doesn't know anything about, but she's trying to figure out why the heck this man left her all this money. So she's adjusting to this life of extreme wealth while also figuring out all these riddles and living in his house that has tons of secret passageways. And he also has a bunch of grandsons that are really cute and around her age, there's a love triangle trope. I don't know, all around, it's just such a good series. Then I also got these really pretty flowers for fall. I didn't get them from the bookstore. There was a shop right next to the bookstore that sold these. I think they're so pretty. Just look at them. Look at the colors. All right, and that is all the book shopping for today. I will see you guys probably in a few days to go to a new city with a new bookstore. I'm in Santa Fe, New Mexico. I'm in the city specifically because me and my mom really wanted to go to Meow Wolf, which is this like interactive art exhibit. But I was like, gotta go to some bookstores too while I'm here. And I was Googling what bookstores they have and they actually have another opposite bookstore in Santa Fe. So that's the same one that I went to in Taos. And I liked the one in Taos a lot. So I was like, I had to check out this one because hopefully it's just as cool. And here's Opposite Books. It was actually inside the mall, which is interesting. And they had a cart of free books outside, which is so cool. I didn't see any that I knew or was interested in, but love them for offering free books. Then we headed inside and it was a bit different from what I expected. First, we had to hit up the bestsellers table, of course. And I don't know what these books are, but I just thought the covers looked so cool. A book that has a cool cover can make me just immediately impulse buy it, for sure. The reason why I said this bookstore was a little bit different than I expected is because they were book stacked everywhere, like literally every everywhere on the ground and piles on top of piles. It was crazy. I've never seen a bookstore this jam-packed with books. 
Then I headed to the fiction section, my favorite section, and I keep seeing these books by Emily Griffin at used bookstores. And if anyone has read them, let me know if they're good because they sound like something right up my alley and I feel like they're really easy to find. This book is a Hunger Games prequel, which I didn't know existed. It's so cool. I 100% will be reading it at some point because I have read the entire Hunger Games series besides this one. Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston is one of my favorite books, so I debated getting I Kiss Sarah Wheeler by them. They also had lots of old books with really cool spines. One day I would love to have an entire bookshelf of decorative books. And then they also had lots of classics. Okay, I just got to the bookstore and it was cool, but it was definitely a lot older than the opposite from the other day in Taos. I mostly just showed you guys like the modern books that I've heard of, but I definitely hadn't heard of the majority of the books because like I said, they seemed older. There was also stacks of books literally everywhere. It felt like looking into me in the future of what my house will look like when I'm like 80 years old and I have just hoarded thousands of books, but it was a little hard to dig through from the practical side of like actually trying to buy something. So I didn't end up getting anything. I almost got where the crawdads sing and I kind of regret it like maybe I should go back in and get it I don't know and I got nervous and didn't get it because I was looking up the genre and it said literary fiction and I've never read literary fiction before and I'm just afraid that I won't like it that it's like too far out of my comfort zone then next up me and my mom are gonna go to Meow Wolf which is that interactive art exhibit I was talking about and then we're gonna hit one more bookstore in Santa Fe today also I want to tell you guys about the sponsor for today's video which is liquid IV as you can see I've already torn into these bags because they're so good I could not wait they sent me the flavors passion fruit and concord grape let me tell you i'm a grape girl the packages come with 16 electrolyte drink mix packets and it's a powder that comes in this little packet and all you gotta do is tear take your water bottle pour and then you just shake it up and it's ready to drink so good. They also sent me one of their liquid IV water bottles, which I'm so glad they did because it's the perfect size for the ratio of your powder to water mix. And I'm so glad that I got this just in time for my trip because I feel like I get so thirsty when I'm traveling. So I love that their hydration packets hydrate you two times faster than water alone. I also love using liquid IV when I first wake up in the morning or after my workouts. I feel like those are the two times in the day when I'm most dehydrated, especially working out. You lose so many electrolytes when you're sweating. So it's so, so, so important to replenish your electrolytes and liquid IV actually has three times the electrolytes of traditional sports drinks. If you want to try these hydration multiplier flavors, and then you can click the link in my description or use my code for 20% off plus free shipping. All right, let's get back to book shopping. Okay, I just got a Meow Wolf and it was so freaking cool. I would a thousand percent recommend going if you're in Santa Fe or any of the other cities that Meow Wolf is in. But next up, I'm going to a bookstore called Beastly Books that my mom Googled and found and she said it looks really cool. So I'm excited. I don't really know anything about it. So I'm just going in blind. Also, oh my gosh, somebody asked on my last book shopping road trip video like where are my parents when I'm filming these like in the car sections because I always say that they're with me on these like book shopping road trips they just don't really want to be on camera so they're just like out and about shopping while I film this section in the car beastly books was way cooler than I thought it was gonna be look at this book the cover the gold pages, the back, all stunning. They had a ton of cool figurines and art and items that are book related. And they had a huge section of George R.R. R. Martin books. He's a fantasy author and he actually wrote the books that were then adapted into the Game of Thrones series, which I still haven't watched. Then you go into the back room and look at this massive Iron Giant statue. Isn't that so, so cool? Stephen King, also gorgeous cover. I love the colors. And just all these covers. I literally haven't heard of like 90% of these books, but I just thought the covers were so stunning. I could not stop looking at them. And the seating area, love the blue couch. I did not know that the movie Ready Player One was based off a book. It's so cool. I feel like there's so many movies based on books and I had no idea. This cover, stunning. No other words needed, just stunning. Dune, this edition is so cool. Love the cover and the blue pages. I feel like just make this edition of Dune. Oh my gosh, what the heck? I just got out of Beastly Books and it was so freaking cool. I did not expect that. It's pretty much all like sci-fi fantasy books. It was just, it was so cool. It was decorated so cool. So many of the covers were so cool. I also didn't end up getting anything at Beastly Books either because I've never read sci-fi before, I don't think. And I'm starting to get into fantasy, but like, I'm just barely starting to get into it. And a lot of those books seemed like really heavy fantasy. I don't know, I just felt intimidated because I'm just not familiar with those genres. I have one more bookstore for this video that's in a new town. So I will see you guys in the next town that we go to for the last bookstore. 
Everything you said, we already knew, more or less. Oh, yes. Hello, I am in Abilene, Texas, and I'm going to a bookstore called Seven and One. I looked at the pictures online, and it looks really, really cute inside, so I'm really excited. This bookstore is so cute. I feel like very much my style. Like, look at this suitcase with plants and books. I love dark wood bookshelves. And the green couches, very like dark academia feels. I thought the cover of this book, Memphis, was so stunning. Hard stopper. I still need to read this series and then watch the show ASAP. Lucy Foley, I've been hearing so many booktubers talk about her and her book sounds so good. The Paris Apartment, so I need to read it. The Bookish Life of Nina Hill is about a girl who works at a bookshop. Like that's all I need to know. A book about a character who loves book? Say less. With Love from London is about a librarian who inherits a bookshop, like even better. And they had some cool book covers of Mary Poppins and they had an illustrated one as well, which I love illustrated books of like classic childhood books. So I thought that was so cool. This is a historical fiction fantasy series and I love the covers. That store was so cute. I love like the dark wood bookshelves and just like, I don't know, it was decorated so impeccably. I feel like it's like very my taste. And I ended up getting two books. The first book that I got is The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. I've heard so many people talk about this book, especially on Book Talk and Booktube. So I was like, I have to buy it because I've never read anything by Riley Sager before. And this book is a thriller mystery about a recently widowed actress named Casey Fletcher. And she lives on a lake and one of her neighbors, Catherine, suddenly vanishes. Then I got The Book Thief, which is definitely like such a popular classic and I feel like kind of out of my comfort zone. I was just thinking how like when I was in Santa Fe book shopping, I was talking about how those bookstores did so many books outside my comfort zone and I was like, you know what? Why am I just avoiding going outside my comfort zone? I should just go outside my comfort zone. So I got The Book Thief. It takes place in 1939 in Nazi Germany and it is about a girl named Liesel who finds a book called The Grave Digger's Handbook in the snow that was left there by accident and it is her first act of book thievery. And it also says Liesel's foster family hides a Jewish man in their basement and Liesel's world is both opened up and closed down. I feel like this book is gonna break my tiny little heart. I'm hoping that this was a good book to like start branching out of my comfort zone since it's so popular like it has to be good right? So hopefully I really like it. And that is all the cities and bookstores for this book shopping road trip. This was so fun to do. Please let me know if there's any other bookstores I should go to. I live in Austin, Texas. Texas, so anywhere in Texas or like the surrounding states because it's just so cool to like see other bookstores in other cities and states. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!